Hey, welcome to Daily Devo. Today, we are talking about fruit. Have you ever looked for something and you were surprised when it wasn't there? right? When your keys are not in their normal spot, um, or maybe that food item isn't on the counter or in the fridge when you go looking for it. Or how about when you're at your favorite restaurant and you order your go-to order, your favorite one, and they say that they're out of it. Man, there are a few times in life when we expect something to be there. And when we find it missing, it's shocking and it disrupts the moment. Well, in today's Devo, there is a story we are going to look at together. And Jesus, he's at the end of his time on earth. He's walking back into the city of Jerusalem. And scripture tells us that Jesus is hungry. So he walks over to this fig tree and it is full of green leaves. And he's looking for figs. Figs are the fruit of that tree. Yet to his surprise, there is no fruit to be found on that tree. There's no nourishment for him. Jesus says in Matthew 21, 18, he says this. He says, may you never bear fruit again to the tree. And the fig tree withers at once. So I want to ask you today, what does fruitfulness look like in your life? In your relationships, in your work, what does fruitfulness look like? You see, earlier in the book of Matthew, it is recorded that Jesus had another conversation about fruit. What he was saying is he was reminding the listeners and us that fruit can be an important indicator about the health of the source, meaning rotten apples often point to a problem with the tree itself, is what he's saying. Uh, And he said this in Matthew 7, and in verse 15 uh, through 20, he says this in verse 17, he says, Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. Thus, by the fruit you will recognize people. So back to Matthew 21, 18, our verse of today, Jesus called out the fig tree that was fruitless. It did not catch this. The fig tree did not produce the very thing it was created to produce. Faith as a Christ follower produces fruit. Faith produces fruit. So does your faith in Jesus show itself through fruitfulness? Is there fruit growing in your life? right? Those of us who have put our faith in Jesus, which is open to everyone, Galatians reminds us that the fruitfulness of a life with, of a life with Jesus um, is the fruit of the Spirit. It's love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. How is the fruit in your life? Fruitfulness matters to Jesus. He looked for it from the fig tree, and this morning he's looking for it in our life. So let's ask the Lord to help us inspect the fruit and ask him what's missing, what's rotten, and let's come back and tend to the habits, the conversations, and the environments that matter most today. We'll see you tomorrow.